guys welcome back to my channel i am in my car as you can tell so this video is gonna be a vlog and i'm just gonna record my day today i guess so yeah i'm in my car because i actually just got a shampoo and blowout so i'm already in a really good mood um i just got it done at the place that i work if you didn't know i actually am a receptionist at a spa and salon um, in the city that I live in and I love it I love it there and yes I just got a shampoo blow and it looks really good and yeah so I'm just feeling like today is gonna be a really good day I had some plans with my cousin and my grandmother so I'm sure you will see that I also am like really loving my outfit today so I definitely will show you guys what I'm wearing um, in a little bit but yeah I'm just gonna go home now oh wait I will insert a little clip, I guess, of me in the chair getting my hair done. I didn't record anything because it's where I work, so I kind of want to keep it like as private as possible. But yeah, I think a little bit later in this video, though, I'm going to read assumptions about me. So I'm sure that you guys have seen this. It's been going around. I think Avery Over had started it, um, or maybe she didn't start it, and she just kind of is the one that made it, I don't know, a thing. <laughs> but either way, um, definitely credits to her. I think it's super interesting. Um, so I was like, you know what, I might as well do it and just see, I guess, what people will say about me. So I'm going to be answering or like responding to those assumptions. I just did it on Instagram last night, so it hasn't been up for that long. And it probably still won't be up for that long when I end up doing it, but it's fine. I'm just going to probably do like a couple. But um, yeah, so just stay tuned for that. Uh -oh. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm now with my cousin. <laughs> we're walking outside and it's freaking cold. <laughs> but we're going to a new cafe that has opened in our city. My friend works there, so we're gonna go say hi. It literally just opened today. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We went to that little cafe while my nan uh, was doing some things and we actually went out for lunch before that, which I'll insert a little clip of our food. I didn't like record us eating or anything like that, <laughs> but I'll show that. Clearly <laughs> we don't like tomatoes. She doesn't have her yet. Like I said, now we're just picking up my nan and we are about to go to church. So hopefully I can get like a couple clips of church. I don't really like recording while I'm there, but I'll throw in something of like the worship a little bit. So you guys get to see that. Hi cutie. Hi. How to do? Good girl. We love her. She's cute. She is pretty cute. So I just got back from church. We dropped my cousin off at home and then we came home. So I'm about to just, I'm about to just take off my makeup and get in my PJs. We are actually supposed to be getting a ridiculous amount of snow tomorrow and tomorrow is Sunday. That's why we went to church tonight. Instead, we typically go to church on Sunday mornings, but my church has a, a Saturday night service as well. So it's really great because if something like this happens where there could be an expected storm or some people obviously just, it's more convenient for them to go on Saturdays. So I'm really, really grateful that we have that option so we didn't have to miss out this week and it was really awesome. I'm really glad that I was able to go, it was so good. I also don't think I ended up showing you guys what I was wearing today. I know that I told you earlier that I was gonna show you and I did not do that. So I will show you that right now. I'm obsessed with these jeans. They're like striped mom jeans from actually American Eagle. This yellow mustardy sweater is actually from Aerie. And then my jean jacket, uh, I don't remember where it's from. And my hat is from Urban Outfitters and my bag is also from Urban Outfitters. So we're getting, well, we're supposed to be getting apparently a bunch of snow tomorrow, but my parents actually went grocery shopping. We're gonna make like a big breakfast in the morning as long as we do have power and um, my nan lives with us, so that's gonna be really nice. Um, it'll just be like a good snowy day, you know? I will update you guys tomorrow, and I think I'm gonna do the responding to the assumptions about me. So that is coming to you very shortly. Obviously, it's a full night for me, but it will come to you in a couple seconds, the next clip. Hi guys, <laughs> it is the next day. 
and the snowstorm is currently in action. It's honestly not really that bad out, but I think it's going to just continue to keep snowing and snowing. Um, pretty much everything is closed today, so it's been really nice. I had like a big breakfast with my family, and yeah, it was just a snow day that was kind of nice and fun. Um, but I did want to answer all of your assumptions and, and react to them, I guess. So I guess we can just get started. So the first assumption that I got was you always wake up to being happy and you are never insecure about anything. This is completely false. This is definitely not the case. I feel like I am a pretty positive person and I feel like this kind of just goes in line with social media pretty much being like a highlight reel and we post what we want to post. We post, um, you know, the happiest moments that we have. We don't really post, you know, the sad times or, you know, when we're struggling with things. I actually have talked about how Instagram is a highlight reel on Instagram because I feel like it is important to talk about and just make sure people are reminded of that because it's so easy to just like compare yourself and look at social media and seeing, oh, like she's super happy all the time. Her life's amazing. I go through times where I'm sad. I go through struggles just like everyone else. And I just choose to show you guys my happy moments because I want to be a place of positivity. So yeah, I guess to pretty much answer that, I am not always happy. Um, I go through sad times, but something that I feel like um, is really important is to remind yourself that sadness is literally mom it's it's in a moment you feel sad it's it's in a situation you can feel sad but it's not gonna last it's a moment that you're feeling that way um, there is a brighter side to that and I know it's really hard to see that when you are in the moment and, and sad but um, I'm human and I definitely am not happy all of the time. Another thing is, is I feel like you can have joy within your sadness. I'm a Christian. I believe um, in Jesus. I believe that with the joy that he brings me, I can have joy even in the hardest times, you know. And that's really honestly what gets me through my sad times. I just literally go to his word. I worship him. I do something. And that's what kind of brings me back and reminds me like this isn't going to last. Like, I will get out of this. Um, the insecure thing, I used to be super insecure when I was in high school. And even like after high school as well, for like a year. Um, and I was insecure because I didn't know who I was and I was comparing myself. Comparison is literally the worst thing ever and that kind of goes back into the whole social media thing everyone posting like the best of themselves and it's edited and it just it's really kind of hard in this generation I love I think social media is great obviously I'm posting this video right now but I also think that there are sides of it that can be a little bit dangerous and that comparison plays a huge role into insecurities because we look at other people and we compare what we think is our worst to what is their best right because we're only seeing what they want to show us or it's edited or something so yes I have days where I feel insecure still but it's something that I have improved on and I have grown in oh tremendous ways um, I am a lot more confident just as a person and um, just as who I am. I'm still obviously figuring things out. I'm growing every day, learning every day, but this is just like a really quick side note. I feel like this is taking way longer than what it should be. This kind of intertwines Jesus again and um, just like what I believe. So if you don't believe this, this is totally fine, but I'm just sharing kind of where um, I was able to really be more confident in who I am and not just insecure all the time and not constantly looking at other people. Once I really developed a relationship with God is when I really saw a shift in my insecurities and my confidence level. If you read the Bible and you read scripture, you see it everywhere. How like absolutely treasured we are to him. And he designed us specifically the way that we are for a reason, for a purpose. I'm imperfect, but he created me exactly this way. I still struggle with insecurities because I'm human, but I also just remind myself that I was created to be 
who I am, there's a confidence within that. You know, like I know whose I am. I know that my identity is not in materialistic or superficial things. And I think that that has really helped transform my confidence. Like I said, I still struggle some days, you know, I am insecure. And I have to, like I said, just remind myself of the truths that are in the Bible. Okay, so that was a really long question. Um, and I need to not take that long. The next one I got was, you do YouTube more for the money than anything else. This is literally the farthest thing from the truth. I have a full-time job right now, so I only do YouTube on the side. I post when I can, when I have videos that I want to make, and I literally just do it as a hobby. I would love to have this as my job, like full-time, or even do it you know, a little bit more part-time. I think that I like having also like a job on the side to go to and kind of have like both options. So the next one that I got, I got multiple assumptions around the same topic. So one of them says you are a virgin, question mark. <laughs> the other one says you're not a virgin with a bunch of, with a with a bunch of exclamation points. And then I got one that I personally think is my favorite. <laughs> Just because it's kind of funny, the way that they wrote it out. And it says, you are waiting until marriage for dot dot dot. <laughs> which just, I think is funny. So to answer those assumptions, I am waiting until marriage, which makes me a virgin because I'm not married yet. The next question was, you miss your purple bangs. If you didn't know, I had straight across bangs and then I dyed them like a pinky purple and this person obviously knows that and so yeah they're just saying that i miss them and i don't really miss them i kind of miss my purple hair so for those of you who don't know and want to see i'll show a photo of my purplish pink bangs and i'll show a photo of my like lavender hair i don't really miss the purple bangs or pink bangs whatever they were but I kind of do miss my lavender hair and I totally feel like at some point in the future I probably will have lavender hair again. Maybe when I'm a mom. Just do it like when I have little kids or something. I don't know. I feel like that'd be cute. But we'll see. So the next one that I got was an interesting one because I actually got the opposite of this. So this one says you get drunk every weekend. And then I also got one that says... You don't ever drink and literally in brackets says aka you are not fun I don't drink I definitely do not get drunk every weekend and I think that I'm fun even though I don't drink so that answers that so the next one is you like cats more than dogs and I think this is funny because I also got this one which says where is it where is it you are obsessed with your dog, and in brackets, a little too much. <laughs> Sorry if you think I'm a little too obsessed with my dog. I don't. He's my world, so that's really all that matters, you know? My family, my friends, my dog, Jesus, and it's great. <laughs> I feel like this shows that I like dogs more than cats. I am honestly not really the biggest fan of cats. I think that dogs just like literally know what you're feeling they like feel whatever you're feeling like my dog comes to me if I'm like upset he comes and will like lick my face I feel like I'm not alone with my dog and I feel like cats just like don't have emotions which if you feel differently that's totally fine I'm just definitely a dog person so this is another one that I got like a bunch of assumptions around the topic and the first one says you don't want kids the next one says you want a baby the one after that says let's see you want a lot of kids the assumption that I don't want kids is definitely not correct and the assumption that I want a baby right now is like kind of true <laughs> like when I see babies I'm like I want a baby they're so cute but then at the same time I know like I don't actually want a baby right now it's just you know if you relate you get it and then the assumption that I want a lot of kids is correct. I do want a lot of kids um, in the future, you know, once I'm married and I have 
somewhat of my life kind of together, then I want a lot of kids. I got one actually that's kind of interesting. It says, you are sensitive, which is like oddly super accurate. I am sensitive, I guess, I'm sensitive in the way where I cry super, super easily. So if I'm watching a movie that is even like kind of sad, I probably will cry. If a stranger, like literally if a stranger is crying about something that has happened, I will start crying. I don't really know, I just cry. I like, I just like automatically put myself in their shoes. So if it's something that's like really sad, I just so feel for them. So I start crying and it's kind of embarrassing because it happens too often <laughs> where I'm just like, can I not cry right now? I got one that says, you secretly hate your cousin and this is completely not true. Bree's my best friend. She is amazing and I'm so proud of everything she's done and I love her. So that's completely not true. I got another one about Bree that I'm just going to, I might as well just talk about now. It says, you spend a lot of time with Bree. This used to be very, very, very true we literally every single day almost we would see each other but that was also because i filmed for her so we worked together pretty much um so we filmed videos all the time and so i saw her a lot um even before that i guess before i started filming for her i did see her like decently a lot because at that time i didn't have it was when i first got home from school and i didn't have um, a job so i saw her a lot then because i was just available so i was able to go over to her house like all the time now it's a little different because I have a full-time job. So yeah, so we definitely used to spend a lot of time together. Um, the only reason that we don't now is because it's just hard, honestly, with my schedule. I totally wish that we could spend more time together. It's kind of sad. I wish that I could see her every day, almost every day like we used to. Because it was so much fun. We have the best time together. We always take trips together, so we just went to New York, which was nice. So that's something that is good. We try to take trips together, and then we end up spending like a week at a time together, so that's kind of nice. Uh, the next one I got was, you were blonde as a kid. And this is actually true. I was blonde as a kid. Picture right here. Blonde with curly hair. Another one I got says, you have always been popular, and this is definitely not true. I was not popular in school, and yeah, don't really have much else to say about that. Another one that I got was that you do meditation slash yoga. And I used to do hot yoga all the time and I love it. Like I love it so much. It's one of my favorite things, but I haven't done it in a while because it's kind of expensive. I know I could do it at home, but I really like doing hot yoga. So yeah, it's something that I really do want to do again though. I don't meditate in like, I feel like the typical meditation way. I meditate on the Bible, like when I'm doing my uh, quiet time and everything. I meditate on certain verses and I like just will pray and meditate in that way, I guess. Like meditate on the word and like with God and just like have quiet time like that. I don't really know how to explain it. I don't meditate in like the way everyone thinks of meditation. So the next one that I got is, you only did DIYs because your cousin did. It's okay though, I still like you. So I did only do DIY videos because she was doing them on her channel. I kind of felt like that was the only thing that would do well on my channel. It was kind of during the time that DIYs were doing, like they were just blowing up and doing really well. So I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. And also I was like, I can get her help obviously because she's making a lot of these DIY videos that are doing really well. A lot of my DIY videos actually ended up doing well and they did help my channel to grow. But that is not what I care about and I realized that very quickly on. You can't do YouTube thinking about like having it as a job or making money off it because that does not last. You really have to do it because you just want to do it as a hobby or you want to do it as something fun to do and then if it turns into a job that's just like an added bonus because it is a lot of work especially DIY videos they were a lot of work and I was so I was putting a lot of work into something that I wasn't actually liking at all and I remember literally talking to Brie about it I'm like oh that video is just so not me actually pretty much every video is just so not me so I was just like you know what I, I want my channel to reflect who I am as a person the things that I like my personality and kind of just be like a positive influence to whoever's watching my videos and hopefully bring a little bit of like light into their day 
not saying that DIYs don't do that, but I just kind of wanted more of a personal feel to my video so that people actually get to know who I am. So that's why I kind of made a shift in my videos. And yeah, some of my videos have done, you know, decently well after that. And some of them haven't, honestly. And that's fine. I am working full time to make my income. So I'm not relying on YouTube for that. And I'm just doing it as a hobby. And right now I'm really happy with that. I think that if you want to start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel because of those reasons like you just want to have it as a hobby and you want to be creative you want to have a way to be creative because that will be beneficial whether or not you turn it into a career or not and also don't make videos that you think you need to make in order for your YouTube channel to be successful just make the videos that you want to make and that in the long run will be way more successful in the end anyway whether or not successful is in views or successful is just in adding a little bit of more joy into your life or adding a little bit, you know, in some way adding a little extra something to your life. So yeah, that's my little takeaway from that. So the next question is, you have a secret boyfriend. And this is actually not true. I kind of wish that I did, but also I'm kind of like, I don't need a boy. You know, like I'm good with me and my dog. The next assumption is along with the same theme of boyfriends and it says you've never had a serious boyfriend and this is actually very true. I've never had a serious boyfriend. I have only dated people in high school and I feel like those relationships don't even count. There's one relationship in high school that I think about and I'm like there was definitely real feelings there but it wasn't like I wouldn't consider it like a serious relationship. You know, all my relationships were in high school and I feel like high school relationships aren't really that serious unless you take your relationship that's in high school out of high school and you are still with them and you date them for out of high school because then you get into like real life things and a little bit more grown up things. So I think, no, I haven't ever had a serious relationship. Um, let's see, I think I'm almost done. Honestly, I've answered a lot more of these than I was planning on. Okay, this last one, I'm gonna end with a real high note here. It says, you were bullied a lot in school. And yeah, no, I never really got bullied. I did get teased a lot like about not having sex with my boyfriend and that was honestly kind of hard on me it never made me feel like i needed to sleep with my boyfriend but it didn't make me feel good it just kind of made me feel like i wasn't as good as the girls who were sleeping with their boyfriends and the thing is is we are all the same you know no one is better than the other whether or not you do or you don't but if you aren't you shouldn't be made to feel like you aren't as good and same thing if you are it goes both ways but I'm just talking about my experience and putting that out there like don't make fun of anyone for choosing what they want to do with their body and also making that decision and saying you know what I'm gonna save myself for marriage that was another thing that people would make fun of me about is that it wasn't just me not sleeping with my boyfriend it was that I was waiting until marriage I just stopped tell talking about it at all which is fine I guess but at the same time you should be able to express what you believe and not get made fun of for it so I guess that's really all I want to say about that just don't make fun of people about anything like just be kind and appreciate what people want to do what they do what they don't about anything when it comes to literally any decision they make just respect people I think that we all deserve respect as human beings whether or not you may agree with the person or not. Yeah, if you're going through that, just stand firm in what you believe in and don't let anyone make you feel like you need to change who you are. I didn't and I'm so glad that I didn't let them change my mind, that I still just stayed firm. I knew what I believed in, I knew what I wanted for myself and I knew the standards that I had set for myself. So I think that's important to remember. But I guess that's going to bring this video to an end. My battery is dying right now. I answered a lot more assumptions than I thought I was going to, but it kind of was fun. I feel like I shared a lot with you guys. You got to know me a little bit more. Some of you guys were really accurate. Some of you weren't accurate. But I hope that you learned some things about me. I also hope that you liked the little bit of a vlog before this video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And yeah, I think that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!